This is why I say the importance of being able to keep your word. Because if you can't keep your word to yourself within different areas, how are you going to keep your word to your people? And this is why I say you're selling yourself a lie. And this is why I say you're selling everyone else around you a lie. So live true to yourself so that you can identify these issues for where they really stem from. What's good everyone? Just got done with another morning workout and I hope all you guys out there are living true to yourselves and continuing on this journey to be able to create better individuals to give back to your dogs and your family units. Now, let me ask you that question. Are you living true to yourself? Or are you living behind a false sense of delusions? Are you living behind a lie that you sell to all your peers and even yourself? I say this because this is where I see so many individuals falling prisoner to their instabilities, falling prisoner to their false senses of delusions. It's because they don't know how to live true to themselves. They don't know how to keep accountability behind their own keep. When you know how to live true to yourself, you're going to be able to identify within your own character for who you are as an individual where it is you're fucking up. Are you keeping your word here? Are you keeping your word there? A lot of you individuals out there can't even keep your word to yourself. And then you wonder why your subconscious plagues you with these instabilities. You know you're slacking. You know you're being lazy within these different areas. I say different areas and I don't want to be specific because there's so many different people out there. But you know what areas it is that you're slacking off on. You know what areas it is that you guys are disrespecting yourself upon. When you can live true to yourself, you're gonna be able to identify it and say, okay, yeah, I am fucking up here. Time for me to be able to do something about it. Like a previous video that I spoke about, does your practice push self-respect? Does your own personal conduct create self-respect in who you are? This is why I say the importance of being able to keep your word. Because if you can't keep your word to yourself within different areas, how are you gonna keep your word to your people? And this is why I say you're selling yourself a lie. And this is why I say you're selling everyone else around you a lie. So live true to yourself so that you can identify these issues for where they really stem from. Learn to live true to who you are in a way that you can conduct yourself as an individual that you love and admire in every way, shape and form. When you do this, you're going to have an internal validation of self instead of having to look for it through external areas. Because if you're looking for that external validation, you're just hungry for attention. You're thirsty for attention. You're probably one of these individuals walking around with that fake alpha bravado, fucking pigeon chesting, bird chesting everywhere you go. Look at me, look at me. I wanna portray myself out to be something that I'm not. Attention, attention. You get the drift? 
And then these individuals are stuck and they wonder why they're riddled with all this anxiety, all this instability, all of this uncertainty, confusion, depression. What's the common denominator? It's that lie that you're trying to sell yourself and then you think that your subconscious doesn't pick up on this. Your subconscious knows when you're selling a lie to yourself. Your subconscious knows when you're selling a lie to someone else. Your subconscious knows when you're not living true to who you really are. Your subconscious knows when you do not conduct yourself in a way that you deem respectable. So when we can have this, we're going to be able to create a better individual to be able to give back to our dogs, to be able to give back to our peers, the people that we love and care for. We're gonna have a better individual that we can live our own existence in. Because I know it's conditioned behavior to play that blame game, but that blame game is just riddled through that bitch shit, through that escapism of expecting everyone else to bear the weight of your own day-to-day -day responsibilities behind your own personal conduct. Create that individual for yourself. When you create that individual for yourself, you're gonna create clarity within who you are. When you have that clarity, this is where you're going to start diminishing that uncertainty, that confusion, those mental health instabilities that we call depression, anxiety, and so forth. Don't you think your people deserve this? Don't you think your dogs deserve this? Because I'm gonna be the individual to tell you, it's not always someone else's fault. It's not always the fault of this set of circumstances or this situation or that situation. Life ain't fair. There's always somebody out there that has it more difficult than you do and that has fucking made it further than you have. So what the fuck is your excuse? Your excuses are just you trying to navigate through that bitch shit of why you're the special fucking reason to why you need to be let off the hook because you don't want to keep that accountability to your own fucking key. Understand? And nobody needs to fucking tolerate your fuckery behind your narcissistic fucking mental gymnastics of why we all need to accept your toxic lifestyle choices and toxic behavioral traits. It's only a narcissist that expects others to have to tolerate all that type of fuckery and mental gymnastics. That's that bitch shit. That's that bitch shit that plagues so many of you out there. So instead of trying to navigate through that bitch shit, learn to live true to yourself so that you can create some true self-belief some true self-esteem and create conviction in who the fuck you are as an individual and what the fuck you stand for. Who are you to try and set standards for everyone else that you refuse to live by? Again, that's that bitch shit. Understand it for what it is. Enough said. Peace. You should see yourself. You have any idea what you look like right at this moment, Spike? What? A rabbit's beast? The same blood runs through both of us. The blood of these two warriors. <laughs> the blood of others. That blood. Okay, yeah. Then why are you still alive?